So I'm coming to you from uh, Temple Square down here in... Uh, I always get dressed when I'm doing my thing. Why is this? Oh, it's over here. I'm um, Temple Square. Um, Easter's coming up and the, Octo or the um, April Conference with the Mormon Church. I don't look any better. <laughs> you get to be my age. Whatever you do, it ain't going to improve it. Anyway, the Easter Bunny is coming to uh, Jesus Town. And um, conference comes, uh, priesthood uh, conference uh, session comes, and the women in the Mormon Church are protesting again. They protested last year. They asked uh, permission to be um, admitted into the uh, men-only priesthood conference, and they were rejected, ejected, <laughs> gone. Well, the women, you know, they're they're gentle little souls. They run the world, but the men just don't know it yet. <laughs> They showed up again this year, and they wrote a letter. Can we have tickets to get in there? And they go, no, no, you have vaginas. No vaginas in the room. So, the Mormon church loves uh, genital power. They think they have genital power. So anyway, last year the Mormon church uh, put it on their satellite uh, system so the women could go into the ward houses, stake centers, and watch it on TV. Well... These girls are not going to back down. They go, hey, men can go in there. Why can't we? We pay tithing. What the hell? Well, what's the point? You know, what can the Mormon church say? So this year they said, no. <laughs> I have a link down below. You can take a look at it. And I love the way that the uh, church and the church um, cult uh, newspaper, the Desert News, uh, words thing. This says, if you feel you must come and demonstrate, if you feel you must, in other words, you know, it's a negative thing to come and demonstrate and to stand up for your rights. We want you to use a free speech zone that we've set up. Now, <laughs> these Mormons, they're in another world. They do not own the roads, and they do not own the sidewalks and the public thoroughfares. They think they do. They don't. Uh, when the Ogden Temple, no, not Ogden, now Brigham City Temple uh, was being built and they had open house, the uh, demonstrators showed up, and the Mormon Church kicked them off a public sidewalk. Well, the, uh, the demonstrators went to the law, and of course the law are all Mormons, <laughs> but sometimes they, you know, pretend they're not, and they said, well, Mormon church, you can't kick people off of a public sidewalk. Uh, they're not allowed to block it, they have to keep moving, but they can demonstrate on a public sidewalk. Well, now the Mormon church in Salt Lake City, they don't read the newspaper. <laughs> they don't know they can't do this shit. So, yes, Temple Square is privately owned uh, and, and when you're a private uh, ownership person in Utah you can tell people to get the hell off your property they're trespassing for one thing and another thing is that um, you own all of the land that is designated in the deed so Temple Square uh, demonstrators can't really get into but there's sidewalks on all four sides of Temple Square uh, no, 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 all three sides. They got a brand new fountain and a bunch of trees on one side. They they stole a road from the government, put up planter boxes and trees. The point is this. Are women equal? Not in the Mormon church. I did a video two or three days ago that said they're not second-class citizens. They're third-class citizens. Well... Little girls are trying to stand up for themselves. I admire them. I say, hell, let them in the meeting. <laughs> Be something to look at, at least. They don't have to sit here and look at these stupid men talking down there about uh, the little factory or big factory, whatever the case may be. Anyway, anyway, um, take a look at the link. The Mormon Church wants the demonstrators to only demonstrate in areas where there's no people. <laughs> they come free speech zones. Uh, it's a graveyard. <laughs> you can go to the graveyard and you can walk there and move your signs around all you want. Well, the Mormon church, they're going to come out of the bubble day by day by day and realize they don't own the damn sidewalks and uh, people can hold signs and demonstrate that the wonderful 
uh, constitution that was inspired by God allows all of us to voice our opinion in public areas and you can't put all the blacks over <laughs> at um, <laughs> Starbucks coffee you can't put all the whites over at you know SeaWorld you, you can't designate certain pieces of protesting land you can't do that so the free speech zone <laughs> it's going to be empty. The, hopefully the, the, the non-Mormons are smart enough to know they can use the damn sidewalk just like anybody else. So anyway, have health and enable. Mayor on the bone, strength and noise and send you power and peace would be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. And uh, make sure you uh, get to a conference and watch the little gals being kicked out of the... Uh, of the uh, um, conference center by the Mormon church. I'm sure it's going to be another <laughs> bullseye day for the Mormon church. Can they do anything right? <laughs> no. A circus? Yeah, they can run a good circus. That's all I can say. Bard gone.